when my parents wanted me to go to school, uh, they wanted me to go to college. And I told them that I was going to, that I didn't need to go to college because I was going to be a musician. And my mother said to me something that I will never forget. She said, you're never going to be anything but a bum. Father was hoping that Frank would be the first lawyer in the family. Took the money we'd saved and bought band equipment. Vince was just 16 years old. He moved out, joined Frank's band. There is this myth that when a band finally signs a dotted line and gets a record deal, that all of a sudden they're riding around in limos. Completely false. Unfortunately, California has become a true dumping ground for the nation. So you just hope that, you know, a few of those people might show up at the show. I, I don't know, I think everybody here's got their own band. If you don't know anybody in this town, you go home. I am the interface of the record company. I'm the one that says yes or no. I start wondering whether, you know, maybe it's something that we're doing or maybe it's something with the industry. I think if A&R guys could go back to the label with like a dog or a box of cookies or anything like that, they would rather. You know, there's a couple realities to Hollywood. There's the reality of if you have money, it's a beautiful place, you know. It's the place that dreams are made. And at the same time, it's a place where dreams are broken. Basically, you're just not going to make any money. I mean, if they're honest, they'll tell you that up front. When somebody buys a CD for 14 or $16, the band on that CD is lucky to see a dollar from it, but they don't see that dollar. You can sell a half million albums and not be rich. In fact, you may not make any money. We got like, a lot of bands coming out tonight. We wish we could play some more, but we, got, we, got, we don't want to cut anybody else's time short. So we love you. Thank you. We're going to come out and party with you. You guys are great. Thank you. Good night. The IRS is seeking to look into Frank's band activities and various expenses. There is that joke of, what do you call a musician without a girlfriend? And the answer is homeless. You don't get to get a new car. You don't get to buy lots of nice new things. You give those things up. I think an artist in general is going to put their art above their comfort and their happiness, which is why so many artists are frustrated and unhappy. The toughest question to ask is, when do you tell an artist that's been gigging around for years and hasn't got a record deal when to hang it up? If we're in this garage, you know, a couple years from now, so what, we're in the garage. The only canvas a musician has to get heard happens to come with the record deal. We found out that the time that we could have possibly gotten was given to this new hot band that had just came out, and they were called Millie Vanilli. So, I guess they deserved it. They were quite the group. It's not a fair system, but it's uh, not a fair world. <laughs>